everyone, it is Kristen, also known as Coco on the internet, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Today, we are talking about the Crystal Creation Stuff Pack. Now, I know there was a lot of things going on around this pack, but a lot of it had to do with bugs, and I haven't seen a lot about the gameplay, so I decided to randomly buy it the other day since my game is updated and running pretty good. And I played with it on stream. Yes, I do stream. If you do not know, twitch.tv slash Coco Aline. We definitely had some fun with it. I set everything up that needs to be set up just so I can get a feel for the pack. And today we're going to be doing more of that in this video with my sim, Alma, okay, she's the sim that I made for, I think it was the first day of the Black History Month challenge everybody was doing online, and she's very cute, she's a witch, she's spiritual, like, she's just so cute, she's so cute, and she's starting her jewelry business and her crystal business, and we are going to be experiencing that today, and I'm going to show you all the things I like, some questionable things in this pack, and if I think it's worth it or not, yeah. Uh, so basically this is like a retrospective just like I did with for rent I definitely have just dipped my toe in this pack and today we're about to do even more with it So I'm super super excited, but of course before I go into us playing with Alma I have to do my little spiel like I always say make sure you follow me on Twitter Okay, see what I'm talking about Make sure you follow me on Instagram to see, you know, all the art that I post, all the posts that I do on Patreon. And as always, subscribe. Oh my God. Did y'all know? Did y'all see? We hit 30K. We hit 30K. I cannot believe it. I thank y'all so, 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 so much. Thank you to everybody who still watches the videos. I love you. I love you. I love you. And yeah, let's see what else we do in the year of 2024 oh my gosh like i'm so excited let's get into the video so as i said we are here with my sim alma and right now she is taking her dog for their morning walk okay this is her french bulldog rory and if you didn't notice she lives in the same apartment as summer who we met in the bookish video so basically y'all will be seeing a lot of videos from people who live in that same apartment building um but they just have different type of lives just like alma is completely different from summer um we will be seeing other sims that live in that building that are completely different so i think i love this little not world but the building aspect of it because obviously you live in an apartment building there's so many different people um so today we're exploring the crystal creation pack with alma and before that obviously she has to get her little morning routine out the way because she usually spends the day working on crystals and things like that because you have to do the charging um, I believe at like 7 p.m. The charging of the crystals take place from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So she usually gets everything done in the morning, her breakfast, her tea, walking the dog, and then we spend the rest of the day working. Um, does he need to pee or not? Rory, come on. Yeah, I knew you had to go. I don't know why he acts like he doesn't. Brindleton Bay is so beautiful, especially with the mods I have. Uh, I love it. Are you done? Are you done, Bookie Butt? Okay, let's let's go home. Let's just go ahead and go home. But yeah, I'm loving Brindleton Bay. It's so pretty. Look at him. He's so cute. I have to change this ugly collar. I do not like it. But yeah, once we get back to the house, obviously I need her to go to the bathroom. We will go and see if we can start the process. Yes, she has no money. <laughs> she has no money because we just paid our household bills. Um, it is also very expensive to get into the crystal business, okay? The jewelry making business. So you need to make sure your sim has some money or they're ready to grind because... 
It's very expensive. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go inside and go into her workspace after I get her settled. We're in Alma's workspace, which is not done. I think we're going to do something cute at the end of this episode where I like do the full crystal space. But this is her space with things from the crystal creation pack. And honestly, y'all, if I had to give one big old tin to this pack... It's the design of the objects. I think that they actually did a really good job with the way that things look in this pack. The um, design of this pack is just really, really well done in my opinion. Like all of these posters are from the Crystal Creation pack. And I just think they are so cute, even for it to be Max's and to have Simlish. I just think they're so nice. And then this is also from the pack, obviously, the little necklace holder things. But look at this. I think this is so cute, this little planter. This stand is from the pack. This plant, oh my God. When I saw this plant, I nearly gagged. Like, this looks like it's not even Max's. Like, this is so nice. This rug, the swatches for this rug is, is kind of giving the poster, but it's so cute and good textured. Like, I just, I don't know. I was a little bit gagged. I was just a little bit gagged. Like, the stuff is so cute. Even if I go out here, I think I have, like, a mirror from the pack. This are you kidding me? This is so cute. So the fact that you're getting all this detailed like furniture and things to use for the pack and it's $10, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of giving that it's worth it. Okay. It feels like the majority of the mess ups were with the bugs and not really the pack because the pack is kind of kind of chewing a little bit okay even this this is all from the pack obviously you need the desk to actually make this stuff honestly the desk to make the things it looks like you know every other work desk from like jungle adventure to i don't know Anything where you have to like create things, it kind of gives those type of desks. So it's nothing special about that. But there is just really good design things in this stuff pack. There's also a coffee table that I am dying to use that I don't know. I'll have to fit into this space some way, somehow, if I do end up like doing the whole thing over. Um, it's just so beautiful. It has like a glass thing. Actually, can I show y'all real quick? Come on now. Come on. Look at the material. Like, this is so freaking nice. I'm like gagged that this is from a pack. Like, I love this table so much. And hopefully Alma gets some money so I can like have her have it. Honestly, if she doesn't make enough money in this episode, it's okay. Because I'll just sit here and cheat the money up and then cheat it back down because I do kind of want to redo this whole space to make it real vibey and um kind of see how I can make the crystal creation like my style so yeah let me put our money back okay it was two it was two minus 220 so she has some crystals already because she is a spellcaster and we went to the magic realm and we ended up buying some crystals also um we did mine a few crystals that's another aspect that you have to do look at the dog oh my god please don't get into any trash um but yeah you definitely have to go and mine if you don't have access to go and uh buy the crystals i've never seen a rock or anything around brindleton bay so i haven't mined here but you know usually the go-to's are like oasis springs i went to glimmerbrook and i found some rocks there um so anything with a lot of land and rocks i feel like they have the most things that you can mine but obviously i took her to the magic realm to go and get crystals because you know she had to go and get her wand anyway this pack comes with a sales table and i had her go out there and sell some crystals and she made like almost 2k in a day and she hasn't really gotten into charging anything like that like she's still making a lot of money 
and she hasn't even reached the peak yet. But yeah, let's just show y'all what the pack looks like when they actually do things. So I think the first thing we should do is cut some gems. I really liked when I charged the crystals. So I think I'm going to try and attempt to do that again so we can have a lot more things to sell. And you can sell in the little market table or you can sell it on uh, Plopsy, but obviously I have an override so it says Etsy. Um, so she's going to do both in this episode. We're going to probably sell some on the table, whatever we make, and then we're also going to sell some on Etsy. So let's do... um. Let's do an emerald cut just to go straight forward. And she has some emeralds that she bought. So we're going to use an emerald crystal and we're going to cut the gem. And it costs $70, 70 simoleons to cut. So this is very expensive. As you're going through, you are spending money to even make the material unless you have like the extra crystals. Because if I didn't have the crystals, this would cost over $100 and she doesn't even have that. So very expensive so first things first let's cut a gem now i do need somebody to make a mod because this takes a lot of time y'all like i'm not even gonna lie the way they have mods to speed up homework and things like that we need that for the gem making because it just takes a long time we got roaches what <gasps> please not in the middle of me working oh hell no oh my gosh i have never seen this before it's hard working at home obviously because look at you getting a bug infestation girl i don't want to stop cutting the gym i can't even lie oh my god Baby, they don't have a landlord, so honestly, I might make um, I might make the land grabs the landlord for here because this is too much. So let's just act like her landlord sent her something, okay? Because we have to get this done. Um, right now, one twenty-two. We're gonna go ahead and add what is it? Four hundred dollars. We're gonna act like. Okay, the landlord sent this. And then get back to the gym making. Ew. The stumping of the bugs is insane. Oh, Rory, you came in here at the be the worst time, to be honest. You could have killed these bugs. Oh. Girl, this is not the time. <gasps> They're in the bathroom! Oh, hell no. In our room! She's in a suit. What are we like? This is not the bug's life. Back to what we're here for. Oh, my God. But yeah, this takes a while, y'all. I can't even lie. But I do love the animation. I think it's cool to watch them make gemstones. It does take longer to cut gemstones than it takes to make jewelry. So I would keep that in mind, too. Oh, I forgot we have extra things from when we went mining. Maybe I'll go mining um today, too. Just so we don't have to buy the crystals. What's your problem, boy? Resume. Also, they will get burnt out sometimes. So, if your sim keeps stopping, that's the reason. A fossil rock. So, we had extra money sitting here because I could have just sold these. I don't need these. This dog just loves barking. Come on, girl. Finish this. She's working really hard to cut this gem. And after this, we'll make some jewelry. I just want her to cut one gem so at least we can start charging it tonight. Um, also... Honestly, once you start cutting gems, the skill is going to go up automatically. Like, it goes up really, really fast for some reason. 
So she's level four now. It says Alma can now design eye jewelry and cut pear shaped gemstones at the gemology table. Wait, eye jewelry? Okay. That's crazy. We'll see what that does. But yeah, she's level four in gemology. The only like problem is that this, number one, this takes forever. Um, and yeah. number two, it is very expensive. Yeah. So your sim has to have money. Like, if they don't have money, GG's. Look at the gem! Oh my gosh! Also, yes, the gems are huge, y'all. Like, it's a little bit unrealistic for me, but they're huge. I know there's huge gems, but this is t this is crazy. So we'll be charging this at seven o'clock, and this is her gem. It's giving we are the crystal gems. We always find a way. Sorry, I'm obsessed with Steven's universe right now. I'm binging it. Ah. <laughs> I love them so much. Charge this later, but you cannot charge gems in the day. You have to charge them at the night. So if I put this in her inventory, I can go ahead and place this on the charging, the crystal charging um thing and it will charge at 7 p.m to 7 a.m from what i've seen it takes about like two days for it to do it um because it has to be on there like the full time and last time when i did it it took about i want to say two days also gems give you certain elements so in this emerald cut gemstone it says if you charge it on the crystal grid which is this thing um, it says career and school chance cards are most likely or more likely to succeed. So basically there is benefits if you cut gems and things like that and you charge them because the charge allows them to have certain effects on the stem if you place them around the areas that they're in. Like even I charged a necklace that she made, like a basic necklace, and when she put it on, it would make her more focused. So the things that you're making actually has a reason or like it has a purpose. Um, it allows the sim to feel certain things or do certain things or it helps them add to whatever they're doing at the time or like what you need them to do. And certain gems and certain cuts mean different things when you charge them. But you have to charge them. If you do not charge them, they're not going to do anything. It's just going to be a pretty gem. So we're going to put this on the charging uh, grid, on the crystal grid. Rory is asleep on the couch. I can't. So, yeah, she's going to put this on the grid. I was going to put this on the balcony because I feel like this is so weird for her to have this out in front of everybody. But for some reason, it's, like, not taking it as being outside. And I think it's because it's a roof over the balconies. So, yeah, I had to put it back there. I should put it in the back, but... Yeah, I had to put it in the front. So now, let me show y'all what it looks like when you make jewelry. So making jewelry is actually way easier than making the crystals or cutting the gems. So if we go to design jewelry, you have to set a design, you have to pick a metal, and you have to um, have a crystal. So the design, I feel like we should do... I've done earrings, I've done necklaces... Um, I haven't done a ring yet, and these are the things that you can work your way up to, like the different designs. Um, I kind of want to try, what is this? Uh, raw necklace. This raw necklace is the cat's pajamas. Okay, girl. Then we have a delicate necklace. They'll dream of you in this necklace. They'll pretend you're theirs. This necklace is delicate. Lunar goddess necklace, eternally elegant. Everyone will remember the night you wore this stunning celestial necklace. Oh, that's kind of cute. I kind of want to do a chunky one again because it looked really, really nice. So let's try a chunky necklace again. We'll do two pieces of jewelry if she's up for it. Um, And then I think the base... 
which is going to cost a little bit of coin. Look, the lower you go, the rose gold, all of that is it's expensive, y'all. Like, it's very expensive. Like, if I wanted to make this gold, that's $200 alone. We don't have that type of money, okay? So, let's go ahead and make the metal uh, pyrite, pyrite. Let's just do that. And then the crystal we'll use, let's do, if we're doing like a yellow for the metal, let's do something we have because I don't want to waste money. Let's do the shinolite. Okay, and this is going to be $70 to make because I already had the crystal, which this crystal is very expensive. So go mining if you can go mining because I think I found this mining. I didn't find it while I shopped at the Magic Realm. So if we charge, if we took this this necklace and we charged it on the crystal grid, it says Sim is more likely to give birth to twins or triplets. Whoa. Whoa, not is not they said this is for the girls really wanting to be a mother. Wow. Okay, let's make it. Why not? Maybe somebody on Etsy will get it. Okay, and this is the process of making the jewelry. It's definitely quicker than cutting the gems. The animations are just really, really good. I love the way this looks. De but it definitely takes less time than cutting the gym, which makes sense because, you know, you're putting things together instead of cutting really hard material. Okay, girl. She has her hot weather on. I love that she's doing this with duck nails. I could never. If you fully charge anything, it's going to earn you more money. So, honestly, I would say don't just sell things. Go ahead and charge it. It does take more time, but it gave her more money. So, we're going to try and get this done so that we can charge it on the crystal grid before it's 7 o'clock, girl. Come on and hurry up. I don't know if she's going to make it. I mean, you can put it on there at any time between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m., but I would rather it just be a full charge. Oh, it's done! Look. Oh, my gosh. This is going to get y'all pregnant. It looks really nice. I think last time I did, like, emerald and something, but I sold that at the market. This is cute. And before I go and charge it, ooh, I don't want to risk it. But yes, you can put this on and take it off. So if I click on it, we can sell it right now for $273, but it's going to be more after I charge it. But obviously, if I click on it, I can charge it on the crystal grid. Or you can wear it, okay? So you can do wear with current outfit or wear with all outfits, which I love. And if you put it on, but you don't want it on anymore, all you have to do, this is gonna go in your inventory, the, the necklace holder. You click on the necklace in your inventory and you can just take it off. Really cute. Really like that they thought about that because I'm like, oh my God, am I gonna be stuck with whatever I put on my sim? And no, like they will be able to take it off and still sell it. I love that. I love that. Okay, but we're gonna name this necklace. What should we name it? Um uh we're gonna name it the mother dial. No, the mother dial. <laughs> Y'all know I'm ridiculous. Okay, let's go ahead and charge on the crystal grid. Like so, like that. And it is about to hit 7 p.m. So y'all will get to see the effect of everything charging and she's distracted right now because you know she's going through her own things oh look it's doing it so she's gonna place that and they will be charging all night y'all some call it magic the things i see and i don't understand it what happens to me we're not gonna collect the items but obviously they are charging 
and we're gonna leave them for the night. What is wrong with our dog? What, what, what's the what's the issue? Leave our stuff to charge, and if we're up to it tonight, we'll do some late night jewelry making because I would love for her to make another jewelry piece. They're charging, and um, I'm also going to make more jewelry later. So she got her muumu on, the dog is washed, we are going to actually make some more jewelry. This is going to be the last one for the night though. Um, this time I think I low-key want to make a bracelet because I've never made one before. Um, let's do a chunky bracelet since we did a chunky um, necklace. This time I'll make it like silver though. Oh, this is going to be extra money. Okay, let's see. We'll do it with the same crystal. Okay, this is going to be 95, but I really want to make it. And this is what she'll do before she goes to bed. Okay, we're going to have her make that. Everything is still charging, though, which is good. I love the little sound. Ooh, the stars are out tonight too. Charge real good, okay? She's actually getting really tired, but I think I'm gonna have her finish this. Oh, Rory, goodbye. After she finishes this piece, I'll probably put it on the grid so it can charge a little bit. And then tomorrow we can go mining and maybe see if we can make a few more things. Ooh, the bracelet actually looks really, really nice. But yeah, I'm going to charge it and then we'll see what we can do tomorrow. It is the next day, everyone, and everything is still charging. Um, It still has two more days to it, so all of these need to charge two more days. But what I'm going to do is I am going to see if she can go and find some more things in Glimmerbrook for her to um, basically mine and get so we don't have to keep buying crystals. Um, and then I'll bring it back here and we can work a little bit more. And hopefully by the end of this, I can show y'all what it looks like when everything is fully charged. And I think that might be it because I don't want to make this video too long. I really just want to show y'all that I have bought the pack and I actually do really, really like it. So, um, yeah, let me go mining and I'm going to let this just sit here. It's not doing anything right now because it's not 7 p.m. Obviously, you can put more on the crystal grid and as the days go on, you can just continuously put them down. Uh, so it says you can place up to seven gemstones or jewelry pieces on the crystal grid and obviously you have to do it from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. to charge them and unlock their hidden powers. So yeah, let's go find more crystals. Okay, I'll see what I can do and hopefully um, we can make something shake. I'm in Glimmerbrook and obviously it's very forest-like. Um, so I am going to look around and hopefully find something I can dig up because that is how... Oh, come and get these frogs too because that means that we can sell it. She's bored, but girl, we're about to get some supplies so we don't have to spend too much money. All I'm seeing is frogs so far. Um... Oh, I don't know what that is, but dig it up. Why is this lady? That's Nancy, please. Yeah, I'm just going to go all over and look for some rocks because we definitely need the crystals, okay? I haven't been digging and looking for rocks in so long in The Sims, but you definitely want to do it with this pack because it will let you save so much money with such an expensive thing i found a rock i found a rock and it looks like it's a crystal come on let's get this one alma we'll get this frog she already found some and i'm gonna sell everything that's not a crystal so the frogs can go all of the things that don't like matter, they're just going. The fossils, the frogs, but we are getting some crystals. Okay, that's good, that's good. So we still have, we don't have any more emeralds, but we do have four um, shinolite and four 
uh, turquoise crystals. So, yeah. And then all the random stuff we get, I'm selling because we need the money real bad. Real bad. Oh, my God. Not her going through the water. Glimmerbrook low-key is beautiful as well. But, honestly, the thing that's making my, um, my worlds look so good is the K-Hippie mod. Like... They just did texture overhauls of everything, so it looks super realistic. Hold on. I might just have to take a picture. This looks so good. So we're over here getting our crystals, getting our supplies. Oh, she found one citrine. I know that's right. Okay, and then just random frogs. But this would be the best process, to be honest. Go around the world, get whatever rocks you can get. And make sure you use them as supplies. Now, I don't really see a lot of rocks today around Glimmerbrook. I don't see a lot of rocks around Glimmerbrook today, but that's fine as long as we got a few because one crystal can make one thing, obviously. Um, and I think I might cut the citrine into a gemstone instead of making it jewelry. Um, wait, it says when crafted in jewelry slash gemstone and charged on a crystal grid sim will randomly find simoleons doing things around the house oh yeah we're gonna make that a gemstone so let's go home and she's gonna work a little bit more and hopefully um i can get that started with the charging i'll go ahead and speed up the process um and then i'll come back to y'all when everything well not everything but the things we first put on the crystal grid are fully charged and yeah i'm just trying to show y'all the process and how much i feel like this pack has a lot of gameplay to it especially if you want to build up a business and like actually get a bunch of supplies like you can spend a long time doing this stuff oh my god y'all we came home from walking rory and look everything well except for the um the gemstone i told y'all i was gonna make but the things we first placed here are now fully charged the emerald is almost fully charged but the necklace is fully charged okay i think if you take it off yeah, it still has the little effects on it. So cute. So we can sell this for $300 now. Remember first it was like 200, but now we can um now we can sell it for 300, but we're going to actually put that up for sale on Etsy. And then the chunky bracelet is now fully charged. Um Oh wait, it told me it was fully charged. Is it not? Maybe it was just the necklace charging, fully charged. So why does it say two days? I mean, it is improved. You can sell it for $300 now when it was $200. So let's go ahead and put that in our inventory. And then this is almost done. So let's give it a few minutes. Four minutes, three minutes, two minutes. Yep, yep, yep. Fully charged. And so now this can sell for $300. So we're going to put all of those in our inventory. Let's just go ahead and go up to our apartment. I'm going to leave the citrine here. This actually should be done by the morning because it only takes a couple hours. And we're going to go upstairs. And we're going to start listing this stuff on Etsy. Y'all probably won't see it sold here on the video. But I've seen people sell crystals when they get everything like high i've seen crystal sell for like twenty thousand simoleons on um on etsy on plop i know it's plopsy but i have it set as etsy but i've seen people sell them for like twenty thousand, which is crazy like you can really make money once you get there you can make money I don't know why it won't let me sell that, but we're going to sell the jewelry, okay? So let's go ahead and list this on Etsy, and we'll do the necklace as well. And I don't know why it won't let me do the emerald. I thought you could do gemstones on Etsy too, but maybe not. Um, maybe that's stuff that you have to sell at the sales table. So because I'm not going to spend the extra time to, to do the sales table because we've seen people do the marketplace sales already, um, we're going to go ahead and just sell it, which we get $300 for. Okay, but hopefully these sell. 
on Etsy because that would be really, really nice. And yeah, that's pretty much the things you could do. It's so many different options, so many different things that you can merge together to make do different things. Like all of the crystals we've had in The Sims now have a purpose and they can do different things. I'm actually really excited to see what happens with the citrine because the fact that you get random simoleons, that's kind of crazy. Like, I just love anything that has interaction and gameplay and it seems like this pack added a lot of that well everyone i think that is where i'm going to end this video i just wanted to give you some insight on the crystal creation pack if you were thinking about getting it it is on the more cheaper side of the packs because it is a stuff pack um and usually with stuff packs you get like one or two things or maybe like a group of things that really don't add much but i actually enjoyed this so so much i'm surprised i didn't make it a game pack because it is it kind of has a lot of stuff obviously we would need a little bit more for it to be a game pack but um i actually am really enjoying it i can't wait to see how much the crystal necklaces and the bracelet that we made how much they sell for on plopsy because i have not sold anything on there yet with the crystals i've only done the marketplace stall um and obviously from the screenshots i've seen of other people playing you can make a lot of money so hopefully you all enjoyed this little gameplay preview that i've given you let me know in the comments down below if you've been playing the pack or if you're gonna get the pack or is it not appealing to you just let me know in the comments but as always thank you for watching the video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next one hey, hey, in the next one <laughs> i'll see y'all in the next one bye bye boogies hopefully she makes some money with her crystals because yeah we need the money we get into the money Thank you.